What's up guys, on this episode of Inspiration Nation, we're back at it on our 300ZX project and we finally got some cool goodies. So, the first wave of parts we've picked up for the 300ZX build is a transmission cooler for the automatic transmission. And that's the line kit for the 4L60. These are the LS conversion mounts. Oh, and they're pretty. Shout out to the guys at LOJ. Maybe you guys might want to sponsor us in this build. And, oh, and then, you can't get no more simpler than that. Nice eBay Reman Brake Master. LOJ actually makes an oil pan for the LS swap. And these 300ZX, and they come with a nice gasket, a dipstick. Nice. You can see. It's got LOJ in the baffles. This thing's freaking awesome. It's got really nice baffling down in there. Like, it's got freaking baffles, like, so it won't slosh. Like door hinges down in there. You can officially fit a grown man behind the dash of a 300ZX. Now that we've got everything cleared off of the firewall on the inside, we can start modifying the tunnel. We've got a basic line of where the transmission is, and what we're going to do is take our air chisel with a hammer bit and slowly, easily massage all this out. It's a lot cleaner than beating it with a hammer if you've got good trigger control. All right, so after trying to fit the motor transmission combo in together, um, the, the geometry of it just isn't right. You can't get the trans in to clear the steering rack with the oil pan. So we opted to drop the whole cradle assembly out and we're gonna roll it out. We're gonna jack the chassis up in the air, attach the cradle to the engine and roll it underneath the car and then ease the car down on top of it. Since no one makes a transmission mount to mount the 4L60E transmission that we're going to be using in our 300ZX, we're going to modify the factory 300ZX cross member. We're first simply just going to cut the ends off, bolt them to the chassis, and then we're going to redrill the top bracket and mount it to the 4L60 and see what we got to fill in in between. So, let's get to cutting. We got our two ends cut off the factory cross member. We're going to bolt them to the bottom of the chassis.
that's our pretty much fabbed up transmission mount. We took the factory ends from the 300ZX transmission cross member, cut them, notched them, and then we took this uh, thick plate steel and uh, fabbed it up. So now it's bolted in the car and that'll make it officially LS swap. on our CTSV2 headers, we're going to see how well they fit. Passenger side went in beautifully. That was beautiful. And it saved us about $700. And there you have it guys, the LS engine is officially swapped into our 300ZX by its own mounts. Now it's time to pull all that stuff back out. In our next video, we're gonna start all the body work, the sandblasting, the shaving, the welding up holes, and all the cool stuff that go on in the engine bay to make it the clean show car that we want. So, you guys follow along, like, share, subscribe, check us out on the next one.